We are many. Those that live beyond the veil of darkness where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds and ends thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rot in the solace in the souls of the weak. We Taking refuge here among the mortals in hope of harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night. The realm of spirits rule the world. In the darkness of your mind, hides your own hidden demons, and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search for life after life? Have you ever seen a ghost, spirit, or demon? Have the lights flickered, and the room became as cold as death itself? Maybe you have. Maybe it was your own subconscious preparing you for death. Come spend some of what's left of your own existence in our search for the answers that are hidden behind the veil. Shed off the blinders and open your mind's eye and listen to their stories. We are there. We are incarnate paranormal. And what is up, everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Friday to you. We made it through the week. And David, how you doing tonight? Uh, just logged off. Was going to radio, but you weren't on. Was playing Phasmo. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, running a few minutes behind tonight. Traffic coming home was a son of a bitch. Then, of course, I had to stop and get gas for the Jeep and get something to eat. So, I guess maybe tonight just wasn't the night to be raided. But I appreciate the sentiment. Really do. Uh, really nothing exciting today. Today was a dead day at work. <laughs> Didn't do a damn thing. I think I picked I picked up a couple pieces of trash off the floor and helped uh, one of the guys move a couple lights. Beyond that, <laughs> I really didn't do a damn thing. So I got paid just to stand around all day and bullshit. Gotta love those days. But the busy days are coming. Artists getting ready to go back out on the road. So I really won't be able to do that much longer. And there will be some overtime coming up. So there's going to be certain nights when there won't be shows. It's part of it. And Dez has come in too. How you doing tonight, buddy? Just getting ready to get on over. Got everything amplified already. Uh, ready to roll. Uh, last night, in a minute, 54 seconds, we got four EVPs. Uh, it's his first night, very old soul, listen to me, and hey, turn around now. So we got four pretty substantial EVPs. And we also had Chris, one of the docents, stop in last night. Call us about your crew, says, what's up, we work hella slow, I feel the office was like that too. And what's up to the crew? What's what's up back to your crew? Uh, yeah, we're... <laughs> this recorder's starting off gold. Unfortunately, we're going to get to some slow stuff. So we might get three or four more EVPs tonight. Then it's going to drop off for a while. So hopefully we get some people in here tonight. Socialize. Uh, and maybe... Somebody will be kind enough to have me do some more hot sauce tonight. 
was it's been it's been about a week since I've done any hot sauce challenges. <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, got it loaded up. Hope you guys are ready. Got the headphones on, something cold to drink, someplace comfortable to sit, and you're paying some attention. Tonight's gonna be tonight should be pretty good for EVPs. At least I hope so for a Friday. So if not, I got a bottle of Jack sitting right on the other side of the desk. What the hell? Shoes. That's me. It's hard when you have people in the background, distant talking. You got to be careful, not mistake those for EVPs. And that's uh, for those out there that don't know, uh, once for what I do, uh, turning on the recorders, just hitting record, leaving them, uh, unless we're in the area doing an EVP session, generally don't say much or try not to. Uh, just make the, and we make the other teams aware that, hey, we got, we've got recorders in the area. Just be aware when you're going through, so if you see something, you're, you're not going to worry it's mine. Just make yourselves known we're good. Even with that being known, a lot of them go through and still stumble, bumble, and chit-chat all the way through. Uh, this investigation, we were fortunate we didn't have a lot of people. This year, it's going to be different. I think we're going to have a lot more people joining in. And hopefully... It's going to be some of the viewers. Because I would love to have you guys come along. That's either, that's got to be a bird right outside the window. Because the, uh, the recorder is sitting on the inside wall. My recorder was on the outside wall, so we got more birds singing. Uh, this has got to be birds right outside the window. That's Dead's. How many did we get last year in infirmary? While we're listening, uh, I'm going to do some counting.
All right, last year in infirmary, we had 35 EVPs on two recorders. Or night one and night two. I think we got our first EVP. Maybe. Ah, uh, no. I don't think that's an EVP. I do not think that's an EVP. Let's find out. Let's find out. Because that is not an EVP. <laughs> always go back and check. We will always go back to check. I'm 90% sure that's me. No, that's not me. That's not me. I think this is a, this, this is an EVP, 100%. Let's bump this up. Oh, go in, it's reverb. Sounds like I don't want to work that. Sounds like I don't want to work that is what it sounds like. Uh, let me get some more. Let me get some there. That should do it. Good ear, David. Good ear. Is it, I don't want to work that or I don't want to work there. I don't want to work then. Let's find out. Let's slow it down. I don't want to work then. I think. something else here. Let's go in and do some more denoise. Let's 
So yeah, we got evidence. And another for the meter, guys. That is a EVP 173. <laughs> Still on night one. That's very possible. It could have been one of the medical machines they had up there. It could have been one of the x-ray machines. One of the, uh, you think Sims may have found a black hole. Well, she was on Discord today, so if she's not in here, then what the fuck? There's another one. It kind of does. So what we're going to do here, just so we can clean it, uh, we're going to go in, put one more enhance, a little bit more vocal enhancer. We're going to amplify the shit out of it. We're going to reverb it. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Go away. I don't think we need to do more. Now, could it be the same spirit uh, lingering up in infirmary? Entirely possible. The fact that last year on two nights, we got over 30 EVPs. 30. <laughs> in one location. That's, you know, that's not bad. That means just off this recorder, we need to get 15. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be number 6. So, we need at least 9 more off <laughs> well uh three hours 17 minutes plus we still got another six hours of audio to go on infirmary night one we're gonna beat 15 evps easily so let's get this saved We're, we might hit 2,500 total EVPs on night one. We might get another 69 EVPs just off night one. If we hit, I don't want to say that bet just yet because I might eat my words.
there's a female voice. And I, I do I have to clean this one up anymore for you guys? Or do I need to slow it down for you? Or are you hearing this one? <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> oh God, we finally got a swear. It's been a while. Fuck no. It says fuck no. It is fuck no. Oh, we got our first swear of the night. Uh, Coz, I have no idea what that line means. <laughs> what does that line mean? Fuck no. I don't know. It's a residual EVP. Nobody's talking. Deads and I are pretty much just walking through the cell block, going out at this point. So we get a fuck no out of it. <laughs> What's that saying? Fuck if I know. That's about all I got for it. You know, it's... <laughs> oh, we get EVPs like this. It's great. It is. But we've gotten weird shit like this before. I mean, let's just go through the past few. Uh, who's here? Inside here? Sit down. It's his first night. Very old soul is a very weird one. Uh, turn around now. I don't want to work. Go away. And fuck no. I mean, these are some pretty, pretty decent EVPs. But... Let's get this saved. And uh, it's meaning it's it's so hard because uh, when we get EVPs like get out, OK, that's obvious. Uh, sit down. OK. Uh, it's his first night, which we got last night. Uh, perfect sense on that one. The meaning uh, Dej joined for the investigation. It was his first time at the prison. So it's his first night. It was his first night there. So that EVP is actually makes perfect sense and shows it's an intelligent EVP. Uh, now with the past two, go away and fuck no, uh, could that be two spirits communicating? That's possible too. Hey, go away. Fuck no. You know, it's, it's very subjective to what some of these EVPs can mean. And that's the hard part is being objective to subjective EVPs because they could mean anything we don't know. It's not a direct response to a question. So you've got to take into account where it's at, uh, the type of people that were around, uh, the environment. Are they talking to us? What's the history of the area? Was there any violence? So getting through all the proverb proverbial bullshit to try to figure that out can sometimes be a pain in the butt. So we do our best and uh 
let people kind of figure it out for themselves sometimes. Some kind of plane going over. And Bones, how you doing tonight, buddy? Glad you guys are here. gonna have to do some cleaning on this one we're definitely gonna have to do some cleaning here uh, so let's see what we can do to clean this up uh, see if we can get rid of that what still sounds like a jet engine it's still kind of uh, prevalent through each channel real quick switch it over to right okay uh, no I don't think he, Chris wasn't even with us at this point uh, Chris didn't join us until I think about 30 minutes later so the only people around is Deads and I and I think I think we're still in the area, but not the direct area. But remember, both Deads and I still have kind of, we have kind of deep voices. So this is sounds like a high pitched voice. So you know what 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 could it be? Uh, at this point, I just don't know. Okay, that that's a statement. Uh, uh shit. Yeah, when when the deaf paranormal team comes around, uh, you'll definitely know. You 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 know. Uh. We're really going to have to enhance this one. I hope it's not going to distort it uh, because of the amp amplification, uh, which I'm afraid is actually going to happen. Uh... Stop you if you'll be here. Stop it if you'll be here. Stop it if you'll be here for the bullshit. Maybe. Uh, mm. 
This is a tough one because it's distant and we're getting, this is a downside with the recorders. Once you start toying so much with the, uh, with the, uh, the filters, you get that warbling. You definitely get that warbling in the audio. I can't get rid of the warbling. I'm not hearing two spirits, Grinch. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I'm not hearing two spirits here. Uh, okay, this a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, get over to the right channel capture noise point apply and we're gonna have to go back in and do some vocal again I think this should do it I'm just gonna put stop you I think we can all agree on the stop you Yeah, stop you is very clear. I'm hearing bullshit, but there's something in between it. Stop you if... Stop it. Stop you if you'll be here. What's up, Tune? How you doing tonight? Welcome to it, buddy. Welcome to it tonight. I'm gonna put stop you, <laughs> and we're gonna let the let the guys at the prison determine the rest. This is a tough one. This is definitely a tough one. And another one. <laughs> happy anniversary, Tune. Very happy anniversary. And that that's EVP 176. Uh, I gotta get a new page up. <laughs> We're actually filled. And I think that's what? EVP number four already? Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't wanna work, go away, fuck no, and stop you. Uh, we're already at four EVPs. And we're only <laughs> uh, 20 minutes into the show. Friday the 13th is always the best time. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. That's me.
What's up, Annie? Sam, Chris, and I are taking a drink for you. Well, since I'll tell you what, let's pause this. Let's pause this real quick. Let's get up to full screen. If you guys are taking a drink for me, if you guys are taking a drink, let's do this the right way. You see, you go ahead and show them. I got the bottle of Jack out. I got the bottle of Jack ready. Cheers. And here's to Annie. Hope she has a very safe trip. We won't forget about her. Salud. Cheers. Drink direct from the bottle. That's the way we do it. <laughs> direct from the bottle. Mm. It's going to be an interesting show. That won't be the last shot. That's for sure. And there's another one right there. <laughs> Jack. And there's our next EVP. Don't worry, there's no such thing as backwash with Jack. You know what? I think that's helped me there, Grinch. And just to make sure, I'm going to take another one. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Matter of fact, I can almost guarantee that's helped me. I don't know. Definitely a tough one. Uh, let's try to get this hum out of here. Let's try to get the hum out. So I think that's what's hampering us right now, is that hum. Uh, effects. Let's get this out of here. One more. Step by step. Pain in the butt. Okay. Let's see. That made it worse. That definitely made it worse. Uh, Grinch, you're hearing fuck no. Uh, Dead's tune, David Bones. What are you guys hearing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this up a little ways, cause I'm hearing something different. Uh, if you guys all agree, I'll write the fuck no down and we'll go on. Uh, I'm gonna bump this way up. So just caution. If it gets loud, it gets loud. Uh, And that made it worse. Mm. Guys, I, I just don't know on this one. Grinch, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't hear a fuck no. Uh, what I can do... A lot knock than a no, okay? I got two different ones, uh, two different responses. You're fast. Oh, shit. All right, David. Thank you. Of course, now we got to stop. Now we have to stop. And, uh, Coe, since you're still in here, you get to witness the hot sauce. So, uh, let me get this set up real quick. Uh, bear with me. Random number generator. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this down. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. We have 23 left. All right. Uh, David, please choose a number between 1 and 10. Number between 1 and 10, David, please. This might be funny. Is I'll probably get the habanero. Seven. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Got number 11. Okay, we got 11. Okay, where the hot sauce is at? Okay. Zoom this in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mexican style. All right. By the way, David, you get the uh Thank you. Let me get that off the list since it's going bye bye. Let's get that saved. Get the freaking label off this. I knew it was going to be an interesting Friday night. I just knew it. If the label will come off. <laughs> uh, these little labels. Really helps for a guy with no nails. All right, there we go. Let's get this nice and shaken up. And holy shit. Here we go. Guesses for Mexican style. One out of a ten. I'm guessing probably a seven. On spice, maybe a five or a six. Let's go. All right, on taste, I'd give it about a seven. On uh, on spice, I'd give it about a four or a five. So you can see, she's empty. She's empty. Oh, David, thank you very much. That's going to go good on top of the pork chops I had for dinner. <laughs> That's going to go real good on the pork chops. One of these days, you guys are going to get lucky. Somebody's going to get that habanero. Somebody's going to... Uh, no, I don't think it'd go good on tacos. I think it'd go really good on a burrito. Uh, it might go good on street tacos. Let me take that back. It would go good on street tacos, not crunchy tacos. Uh, but it would go great on a burrito. That's good. I almost want to do another one. I almost want to do another one just to appease you guys. Give it a few minutes. I might go ahead and do another one. And this one will be on me. <laughs> this one will be on me if I do another one. Let's give, let's give it a few more minutes. I'll give it five minutes and I will do. I'll do one on me this time. Uh... You know what? This one, I think I'm gonna debunk this one. It just, it's too much to clean up. And that's the downside is, you get to that level when you have to clean up these EVPs, it's just a pain in the ass. You know, notice sometimes noise reduction will clean it up. And there's other times, it just fucks it up. Bones, do not jinx me. What the hell?
those doors should not be opening. All of those office, those wooden office doors are shut. None of those doors are open whatsoever, you guys. We got a wooden door opening. Why do I think that's saying you're a little bitch? <laughs> it's probably telling me to do the hot sauce. <laughs> we probably got spirits on my side saying, don't be a bitch, just do it. I think it is saying, don't be a bitch. Is this really saying, don't be a bitch? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, you guys. I'm going to need another shot of Jack if this keeps up. This show, we're only 47 minutes in, and I'm being called a bitch by the spirits. Just no. Just no. Please, no. Good God, no. Please, not tonight. I am not sober enough for this. I'm really not. Let me get over to right. Capture noise point. Apply. Okay. Let's get this done. That's exactly what it's saying. If they want to play that game, we're, we're going to go ahead and play it for them. I promised. I freaking promised. Let me get this saved. Then we're going to do another hot sauce. And this one's on my dime. Give me a second. Now, here's the kicker for this one, guys. Not only do we get to count an EVP, we also get to add one to being insulted. I don't think we've added an insult EVP in probably three months. Now, here's... I. So we have 22 left. Uh, let's see. My number is going to be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20. All right. 20. Uh, sauces. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. What did I say it was? 20? What number did I say? I don't remember already. Uh, so, 22. 
Well, I had 20 because there's 22 left. So it's Garlic Del Fuego. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 21 left. So it's Belize Blaze. Belize Blaze. I think... I think this one is going to be a very, very spicy one. So you guys see Belize Blaze. I'm going to regret this. I just know I'm going to freaking regret it. So let's get that off of there. Let's get this. Where's my cursor? Come on. Don't mess with me. There we go. All right. You support me. Yeah, you support me in burning my ass. You guys want to see me just lose it on air. And I've still got the spicy jelly beans, too. So. Oh, my God. This is probably why I didn't want to do this, is do two on air. But here we go. Belize Blaze. Before I before I just burn my asshole up, this is for it. God damn. Yeah, I got tears coming out of my eyes. <laughs> Holy shit. The, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh, that was wrong. Scale of 1 to 10 on spice, I'd give this about a 7.5 or an 8. It's, it's actually burning my lip. And on taste, on taste I'd give it a 10. On taste I would give it a 10. It is, it's got some bite to it. Oh, let's get back to the audio. Grinch, yes. That is good enough for tacos. It will it will put it will make you sweat. Matter of fact, you can see I'm sweating now. Oh. Oh. There's your entertainment for the night. Fuck getting EVPs. Forget getting the EVPs. Let's just watch Brent sweat from drinking hot sauce. Well, remember, this one was called Belize Blaze. So, yeah, that, that's a good one. Sorry about that. Nose is running. That actually loosened up the sinuses. Don't you guys 
dare. Don't you dare thinking about donating again. <laughs> Please don't kill me. And I know one of you guys probably clipped that, didn't you? Now we're actually going to be at some quiet for... I got about 20 minutes of silence coming up. Deads did nothing. I know you did nothing, dude. <laughs> Usually it's, you're good enough about resubbing. I ain't quitting. I'm not quitting. I just said, please don't. Doesn't mean you guys can't. Because I know how you guys torture me. But it's all right. I won't have sinus problems tonight. That Mexican style would be great for like tamales and burritos and shit. This would be great for street tacos and if you want to clear your sinuses. Just so you know guys, we have done work on the show. We have done work. Thou shalt not bow down before any graven image. Let's get over to this. Grinch? Thank you. Gotta pause the audio. Uh, <laughs> so now you guys know the routine with subs. If I can even get this bitch open. You guys just, it's the spice is going to, the spice is going to hit me tonight. And that's all right. Uh, I need something to get this open. Why'd you do that? Okay. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Okay, that's, uh, oh, shit. That's, uh, that's two spins. That's four beans. Or that's. That's, yeah, that's four spins. Thank you guys for the uh, gifted sub. Now comes the torture. Now comes the torture. Uh, let's get up to the spin. Uh, there we go. So I got four spins to do. Now, do you want me to do, do you want me to do all the beans at once? Or do you want me to do it? Two at a time. You guys decide. Before I spin. You know what? I'll do them all at once because it tortures me more. Let's get the four spins. And, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, and, so and now, let's and see now the we come to a special Please. moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so. Let's see the nomination, shall we? I'll be right back. And, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so, let's see the nomination, shall we? I'll be right back. And one more. And, and now, and now Shit. we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so, let's see the nomination, shall we? I'll be right back. <laughs> Shit. So here's all four beans, guys. You can see them. Two cayennes, a habanero, and a reaper. Oh my god. My stomach is gonna fucking hate me. All right, that wasn't terrible. That last batch of beans we got, you guys, 
was absolutely rancid because we got it right where they poured the capsin in. Right where they add that spice to the tumbler is the batch of beans I got. And every bean just, ooh, don't want to live that again. Ooh. If this keeps up, I'm going to need another shot to wash this all down. The beans aren't bad. The hot sauce is kind of masking it because my mouth is still on fire. Hey Grinch, don't challenge me, all right? Beans and hot sauce, oh. I'll do it for shits and giggles. Just as long as I don't giggle and shit. So, yeah. Just as long as I don't get the two mixed up, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I already had a ghost call me a bitch. Definitely have fun with that. It's definitely been... No matter what at this point, <laughs> this show has been fucking amazing tonight. I don't care if we get any more EVPs tonight. I'd like to see them. But we've, we've got a party going in here tonight. <laughs> you guys are torturing the shit out of me. Pork chops? Oh, shit. If you're going to do pork chops, I only do them one of two ways. I do fried pork chops with uh, potatoes and gravy, or I bake pork chops in cream and mushroom sauce. Both are amazing. Pork chops and cream and mushroom with a uh, better rice? Oh, that's good. Excuse me. Ooh. Cayenne and Jack Daniels. Not a good combination. Fried pears and apples over pork chops. What is this, a Brady Bunch? Pork chops and applesauce? I'm not judging. Bake pork chops with sweet and sour. Add pecans. Ooh. Maybe pecans. Never had candied green beans. That's what you guys get. I control the soundboard. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. That is what they call a jump scare. And that jump scare can be a son of a bitch. But you know, I love you guys. Ugh. That knock gets me every single time. That knock gets me every time. It literally sounds like somebody's knocking on my bedroom door. Enough 
You guys aren't safe with me either. You should know this by now. Let's get past the jet. No, I know doors are opening. I'm waiting to see if anybody's coming in. And they're not. So yeah, we got, what, three doors? We have three doors opening. And there's voices there. I think that's me. I can almost guarantee that's me in the background. But that door is close. <laughs> yeah, almost fell out of bed. That's when you know you've done a jump scare right. When you make somebody fall out of bed. Oh, that makes it even more worthwhile. So there, there. This I'm gonna call this evidence since we're not even in the area. Got three doors opening. So let's get this saved. Uh, no, no, Grinch. Uh, the, the deadline on getting the evidence back to the prison is on the next investigation. Uh, if we get anything completely earth shattering, just amazing evidence, I basically, I messaged Susan with it. I said, hey, you got to hear what we just found. Any ideas as to what this could be? Uh, because it takes a year to pretty much go through all this. It gives me a chance to, well, like we clip it, I also type it out for them. So this takes a considerable amount of time to be able to do for them. Uh, it's not like there's no way we could do this in a month. I would literally have to quit my job and just do this solid for a month. So just a year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can tell you exactly what they do with it. Uh, they basically, they, I know they make a copy of it for them. They take it to conventions with them, uh, that they keep a copy in the office for other paranormal teams to read it. Uh, they say they're going to frame a lot of it and hang it up in the museums, maybe in the museum for, uh, for other, for basically historical purposes. Any of the substantial, uh, EVPs that we've gotten like the one we got after the first investigation of the prison with Carol Cole. I'll kill the, I killed the bitch and put her body out behind the trash pile. That is basically a confession on an EVP. So they you use it for historical too. Can any EVP lead to historical, uh, historical dates with the prison? Uh, th three years. This is my third investigation of the prison. Uh, September will be my fourth. And I'm going to do it once a year. Uh, that's kind of what I promised him. I'm going to do three nights once a year. Unless I move up to Carson City, then I'll do it every day. Which, moving up to Carson, it's not on the table right now. It's, it's on the back burner, so to speak. Now, if I move up there, I'd be a docent for the prison, which basically means I help take care of it 
help take tours through, uh, basically be a volunteer position. So I would have to get a full-time job up there too. And I'm not leaving the job I have now. <laughs> Just not happening. Why we're getting the sound of like uh, AC unit or some kind of an engine, I have no idea. Where we're at in the prison, there's no power. We didn't even have this on my other recorder that we had up there that we already reviewed. Uh, so I don't know what this could be. Because this is only amplified uh, about six decibels. How many recorders are left on night one? Uh, let's find out. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, th uh, three plus my GoPro. So we've got about 15 shows left for night one. You, you give or take a few episodes. And remember, on night one, we lost two recorders. Uh, one just didn't record, and the other was, I don't know what happened to it. It just, it just shut off. So if, if we didn't have three left, we'd have five left. So it's kind of saving us a little bit of time for night one. But you figure we've got, we've got seven months to go through it. Yeah, Grinch, three nights to cover in total. And what show are we on? 65 or something like that? <clears throat> Why is that up like that? We're on 60. So you figure we're going to have... 75 shows for night one and we're, we were missing two recorders otherwise we'd be at like 82 uh, we're going to have close to 300 shows for the prison this year and just remember next year or this year's investigation we're going to have even more gear we have two more recorders and we're going to have at least one more GoPro Uh, one, I wish we could do one a day, <laughs> but you figure we're, we've been at this recorder now for an hour and we've only gone through huh, 15 minutes of audio. It takes a long time to analyze this. You guys are seeing this. It takes six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 minutes to analyze one EVP. So the longer we take to analyze, the more shows we're going to have. It just, we get got to go through the silence. It sucks. What the hell was that? tires on the highway <laughs> you 
you can actually see how, uh, how sensitive these recorders actually are. They're picking up tires thumping on the highway. <laughs> Not highways, what? 150, 200 yards away? And it's picking up that. So picking up EVPs 50 feet away is not going to do anything. With the with the uh, H3 VRs, you can get EVPs 150, 200 feet away, no problem. So the further we get, the better the gear is going to be. The better the gear is, the more evidence we're going to have. but <laughs> we're sitting at 178 EVPs. I don't know on that. That's def definitely strange. Let's uh bump that up that far. I don't know on this one. No, that's uh it's a door. Uh, that's one of the uh, steel cell doors opening. If you go down from infirmary a little bit more, uh, there's cells. Uh, so that could be residual of one of the cell doors opening. Uh, we've gotten that so many times over the past three years. If it wasn't for that weird sound at the beginning, I wouldn't even pay any attention to it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that... Yeah, they did. That might be it. That might be one of their freaking loud ass uh, paranormal toys. Yeah, and that's that's another thing, guys. Uh, a lot of teams that I've invited, uh, even one of the other teams from Night Two, brought one of those great big freaking uh, like stereo echo box spirit boxes, and it you can hear it across the prison. It's loud and it's ungodly. And I told them, guys, keep the volume down on that son of a bitch. You know, I've got recorders spread throughout the prison. The last thing I want is my microphone's blown out from this piece of garbage that doesn't work. It's like, please don't use this loud equipment. And if you do, move down from where my recorder's at. Have that courtesy. I mean, if, if my recorder's in block C, move over to block A. Move to block B, block D. Move out of the same room as it. Because otherwise, when we go to analyze it on the show... We're going to be sitting there listening to an hour of squelching and it's going to be like, no, just, just, we're going to, we're going to throw this recorder out the window. It's bad enough. We were listening to the piano box on a, uh, an execution. That was an hour of a music box. Thought it was in my freaking grandmother's house. And there's my rant for the night. <laughs> there's my freaking rant. You know, Dez, I'll be honest, man, I, I, I didn't expect an apology out of them. I invited them. They asked if they could come, so I invited them. 
uh, I, I did make them aware that I had recorders out and they did respect it for the most part they they for the most part they they did right you know like I said every investigator has their own methods they have to use methods based on their disability so I took that I took that heavily into account yeah it, it drove me nuts but it's like yeah this is this is what they can use they can't use digital recorders they can use movie box uh, spirit boxes and cameras and REM pods they're very limited to the gear they can use I didn't even see him use a laser grid and there they are And there they are. Uh, that might be Susan with them. I knew they were weird. We'll tell right here. Is that one of their meters? Yep. There's one of the meters. Nailed it. Now this is one of the times when I'm glad they're lightning investigators. We don't have very much to listen to up here. From 30 minutes to 33 minutes. <laughs> they literally spent three and a half minutes in the infirmary. How can you investigate anything in three and a half minutes? I can't even get a cup of coffee in three minutes. I couldn't even drink this bottle of Jack in three minutes. And no, I won't even try. Duds, I thought you didn't drink. I'd like to see you try to finish a bottle of Jack in three minutes. Oh, talking about the coffee, I was like, wait a minute, Duds don't drink. He's saying he can finish a bottle of Jack? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a discussion about that one. It takes three minutes to get over the burn. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually surprised you guys haven't lined up to kill me tonight. We would never do that. Yeah, bullshit. You almost got lucky on that one, Dad, David. I actually looked up and saw it pop up on OBS before I heard it. And actually, I saw it first before it came up. It was like, ooh, if I hadn't, it would have got me.
just remember though I'll go ahead and play it for you guys since I got unlimited points we got the last one and since it's Friday the 13th I think it's only fitting have you ever seen a hillbilly Jason Voorhees you have now <laughs> Deliverance meets Jason Voorhees. I could just hear him now. Jason walking through the forest. Squeal for a squeal like a pig for me. And you see Jason just take off running. Squeal, Peggy, squeal. Hey, uh, have an idea. Have a very good idea on this one. Uh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, Shit. We're going to run into this, uh, might run into this squelching problem. Definitely on the radar right now. We might lose this EVP. Let's get this over here. Capture noise point, apply. Okay, you blacked out. You might be good. We can work with this. We can definitely, definitely work with this one. Now we just got to go over and get the reverb out of it. We should have it. I think it's saying get the knife. What do you guys think? Okay, if it's, what's the plan? It might be the investigators. Okay. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit more and see if we can do it. If it's, what's the plan? Uh, that would be the investigators. Uh, that would be probably either Joe or Chris asking them what they want to do. What's the plan? Where do you want to go? Uh, so we would be able to debunk that eh, pretty quickly. Uh, let's find out. 
six effects. Let's go to denoise. This might not be an EVP. Try uh, denoise one more time. Yeah, we're going to debunk that. by the recorder. ever listening it's Friday 6 10 p.m. we're just passing through then this is what you should do when you see another investigators equipment announce yourself don't have to do the time don't have to do the day but at least say hey we're passing through this is so and so and they did it right that's Joe he he knows his shit Getting static. That might be the floor, though. That might be the crack in the floor. It might be. That's kind of why I just went on past it. It might be that crack that was in the floor. It might be feedback from the equipment. Uh, they might have just gotten too close to it with something else. So we kind of just, just brush it off, move along. It just, it's just weird that you've got an image here, an image here, an image here. It just, you know, digital cameras, everything should be clean and precise. I don't see how you can have this shape stretches. It's digital, how they like the fog. Mm -hmm. If it's a digital camera, the floor looks clean. How the hell can it you get fog there? Or how the hell is this? I can see if it's a film from a dragon, but you know, you just but yeah, this is for chosen.
so we've had six EVPs tonight. We have not had a slow night. It's been a good night for evidence. You guys are getting an idea of how sensitive these recorders actually are. And this is only a Tascam DRO5X. You know, not as sensitive as the zooms, but you can see how far away we're getting evidence. Tascams are good. So you can hear him, hear him announcing himself again. So that's where our second recorder was, uh, maybe 150, 200 feet down the hallway, just to keep basically the entire hallway covered. From where his is to mine is, we cover the entire length of the infirmary. I think next year I want to put a camera up there, at least for one night. Hold on. Is that a help me? Is that a help and a help me? Is that two EVPs right there? That sounds like two helps. Well, before you hear help me, there's a very faint whisper that sounds like it's saying help. Help, help me. So we got right here. There is a first help. And there's a second help me.
I think that's two helps. Two different helps. Matter of fact, I guarantee it. So there's two more EVPs. <laughs> We're knocking them out tonight, guys. And that's one, two. I didn't take. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Four leaf clover. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's that's eight EVPs tonight, guys. We our our record right now for an hour and a half show is twenty two EVPs. Granted, we're not going to beat that tonight for sure. Uh, we got about. About 16 minutes left in the show, but eight for this kind of show after two hot sauces and jelly beans and uh, three shots of Jack. Yeah, we've had a very, very entertaining show. Yeah, Lucky is Lucky's right. Only fitting tonight. I got the four-leaf clover on the hat. tires on the highway. Hmm. Okay. Uh, shit. <laughs> My hands are going to get tired from writing and this keeps up. Let's get the effects. Let's get back in here to it. I don't know if this might be the team down the hallway because it is reverb there's a lot of reverb to it 
So I'm thinking this is the, uh, this might be the team down the hallway. clean this up a little bit more uh, shit is that gonna make it too warbled if we can't get it here we're gonna we're gonna move on uh, this one's making it tough it's definitely making it tough Might be, we might be good. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Made the right call. That was team down the hallway. Makes it really tough when there's so many people in the area. And th this goes back to what I've always said. I don't like investigating with large groups. One, maybe two other people. That's it. You shouldn't go out in any, anything bigger than four. You're going to contaminate so much potential evidence. Because everybody's going to want to be talking, asking questions. You, and in my best opinion go out in pairs one's one I'll go out alone or with a person if you're not familiar with the location like Nevada State Prison go with a go with somebody else uh, for your, for at least your first investigation there then your second go out alone you'll have so much more fun <laughs> set your own pace investigate the way you want to and You'll have a lot more experiences. Believe me on that. You sit alone in some of these areas, you're going to have a lot of fun. in a box. Friggin' static just starts up. What are they using?
camera. I do want to yeah because it's a plane going over uh, bad thing about the prison right there you got the highway you know 100 yards away and you've got the airport the, the air traffic going right over to Reno <laughs> uh, I truly thank each and every one of you for being here tonight we got EVPs we got pretty substantial EVPs tonight uh, let's run back over them real quick. I don't want to work. Go away. Fuck no. Stop you. Uh, door opening. Don't be a bitch. Which actually got me to do a hot sauce. Uh, three doors opening and help. Help me. So we had some pretty substantial evidence tonight. Small EVPs, but still, nonetheless, we got them. Uh, we're up to 180 EVPs on the prison. And we still got three recorders to go. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 220 or 230 for night one. Which is going to put us probably close to 700 EVPs for the prison. Susan's going to be getting a book. <laughs> That's for sure going to be getting a book. Uh, thank you guys for the subs. Grinch. Bones. David. Thank you for the dono and the hot sauce. Uh... <laughs> And just Deads, thank you for always always helping out, being here. And just everybody else. Coz, thank you so much for <laughs> for watching as well. Toon, you've been kind of lurking tonight. Hope you did well. Uh, you guys really helped me out tonight. We got a lot of evidence. We're, we're going to have a lot to present to Susan, Chris, Chris, and Joe. We have a lot to present to Nevada State Prison Paranormal. And for everybody, I mean, anybody that wants the evidence, uh, feel free to join the Discord. Link is down below. Uh, click on Discord, join it. Uh, the last two investigations are typed up and in there. When we finish the third, like I said, it will be typed up and in there for you guys to read. Uh, I don't have a way to get you guys copies of the EVPs just yet, but we'll see what we can do on that one. Things are happening. And things are happening, well, slow, but things are going well and we're growing. I had an amazing time tonight. My stomach thanks you for the jelly beans and the hot sauces. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great night. God bless. And I'll see you guys later. Won't be a show tomorrow, but stay tuned for one, possibly on Sunday. Y'all take care and I'll see you later.